Joining me now is Michael Zinzer, a Navy diver for 20 years and former director of the dive program at Florida State University. Michael, you call this a hostile underwater environment. What do you mean by that? Well, that's um, any, any time you work in an extreme depth, especially at, at, when you're talking over uh, 13,000 feet, it's going to be a hostile environment. Uh, you, first, you've got surface conditions that you have to deal with. And right now, I don't know what the conditions are where, where the search is going on. But if the vessel is on the surface, it would be very difficult to see. You know, that's a, if you look at the image that you have on screen right now, you're only looking at the very top of a submarine. So if it was on the surface okay. in, in, and they're looking for radar to see it, it would be very difficult so, to track. So, Michael, I guess what you're saying is no one knows where it is at this point. Well, I don't, I don't know what they're actually doing in the military and the searches going on, but you would know if they found it. That's, uh, that's the well, one thing I do. Yeah, that we know. That, uh, but one, when you're, one former British Navy officer warned of a major concern. Take a look at this. There could have been uh, an accident. It could have become, become entangled in the wreckage of, of Titanic. Uh, it could indeed uh, have had a catastrophic failure. Uh, the answer is we don't know just yet. Okay, entangled in the wreckage. Interesting. That's that's true, but they would have to get pretty deep, and it would have to sit right on it uh, to to be entangled, unless there's some type of rigging that's still floating. The sub would actually have to go hit on the bottom to probably get entangled with it. That's a possibility. That is a possibility. But if they're that close to it, and they had power, and they had lights there's a good chance that they would be able to send some type of float, some type of signal to the surface saying, hey, we're, we're stuck. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure all the equipment attached to that vessel, but submarines definitely have, typically have some type of emergency response to get to the surface. Well, if the Navy, now, if the Navy had any possibility of getting in touch with them, even with a robot, um, they mm -hmm. could do that, but unless they don't know or unless it's entangled. There's, can you, you can't read the tea leaves here. I wouldn't even attempt to read the tea leaves. You know, there's so many variables that you're dealing with when you're working at that depth, uh, especially when you're doing searches. You, when the, the sonar images, the sound images, if, if you look at the thermoclines down about 200 meters, it, it, the sound that penetrates the thermocline is minimal compared to yeah. the, the sound, the sonar image sounds that they are, that they're sending down. It's almost like a ping pong ball hitting a table as it bounces, reflects off the thermal climb. So it. being able to penetrate down to about a, a, a thousand meters where the Titanic sits is like the worst area to be able to penetrate. Okay. In fact, during the Cold War, submarines used to hide in that thermal climb because it's so hard to locate, identify, and track uh, any vessel in, in that area. All right. So here. We Surface searches with sonar, with other with other technology. If if it's being done on the surface, that makes it very difficult. All they right. need to get below the to try to track and identify. And if the submarine has a ping device, sending off pings again, the sound would bounce off the thermal client and make it very. I understand. Okay. All right, Michael. Thanks so much for your expertise. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.